Welcome to day 11 of 30 days of AL programming and today we are going to look at the Power Automate and how it connects to Business Central. Remember the Power Automate is a low code or no code tool that enables us to automate business workflows in the context of Business Central. <music> And it can be enabled in Business Central in two ways, and it's used um, in the Business Central SaaS. Of course, you can be able to customize for uh, the Business Central on-prem, but by default, um, um, it comes in uh, already ready, uh, cloud ready for the Business Central SaaS. So there are two ways to enable the Power Automate in Business Central. First of all, we can either enable it or disable it because remember as an administrator, you have the ability to either allow the users to be able to use Power Automate or not using the privacy notices status page and it contains several options to either enable or disable and here under the Power Automate, we can either choose to agree for everyone or disagree for everyone. If we disagree for everyone, any menu of the Power Automate is not displayed. And we can let the users decide. Remember, the users who are able to see the Power Automate menu should be having the permission for the execute... Uh, it, the Automate exec permission... And uh, when we look at this permission, it includes the allow action automate system permission. So this is the permission that the user need for them to be able to run the Power Automate if they are not um, uh, super users. Okay, so we can create either instant flows or automated flows. Automated flows are triggered by the user without their knowledge as they are using the system but instance flows are the ones that maybe the user would like to send an approval and they can click on send on an approval okay so most card pages and list pages by default have their power automate buttons and mostly it's found here in the more options and you can be able to click on power automate either create a flow or manage existing flows as well when we come to approvals we can be able to uh, add a flow for the approval of a customer or maybe whichever document using the templates that are already provided and remember we use the business central connector which by default enable us to connect to different applications including uh, the office 365 and the outlook to be able to make sure that an email is sent to make sure that data is connected remember a connector is the one that is in between two applications to make sure that the two applications can be able to connect and the business central connector really comes in hand and to create a custom at least you need the premium power automate flows and when you look at this request um, an approval for the customer first response we can look at uh, whatever is allowed in terms of uh, the responses so we can choose whichever environment that you want the company and the recipient for the email address so that in the event an approval is sent they can be able to receive email addresses and all that so remember we are in the day and age where repetitive tasks shouldn't be done uh, by users we need to really think more of what kind of tasks do do the user uh, does the user do uh, periodically maybe every month they send statements to customers every month they do a posting routine maybe a badge posting to post a, a little bit of maybe some invoices for the years for the month that have been accumulated or there's a process that they run in the month so this is what can be automated using power automate so that is for this video. Uh, I will see you in day 12 of 30 days of AL programming. See you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, 
subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one.